Hello Taurus, welcome to your May update. Take what resonates for you Taurus and leave anything that doesn't resonate for you for somebody else and watch your other placements to get a full picture of your May update, okay? I'm Cindy, this is Bringer of Light Intuitive. I forgot to mention that part Taurus. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I would love for you to subscribe and join my community here. If you haven't done that already Taurus, please do if you like my readings and you connect with me in that way. I welcome you. Let's go ahead and get started. What's the energy that you need to know about towards the end of May for you and on into June? Hope you had a happy birthday month, Taurus. Let's go ahead and get your energy here. Whoops. Nothing is yet set in stone. There's something that's brewing here, so let's see what this is. What else does Taurus need to know at this time? There's something that is not yet set in stone. So I feel like there's something going on in your life or something that is manifesting for you that's not quite in your experience yet. But there's a big change coming. You're very close to achieving your goal. Luck is on your side and communication is key. This is coming out for almost everybody. Now this is the new moon in Gemini which is taking place in the next two weeks so there should be some sort of shift here in the next two weeks. I see action as well. So this tells me that something may have with this nothing is yet set in stone. I feel like you're waiting for something to unfold. You're waiting for some changes. You may be waiting for some answers. You may be waiting for some communication in some way that's going to you know, change a situation for you. Perhaps you're waiting for a, a house to sell. Perhaps you are waiting for a legal situation to close. Perhaps you're waiting for some sort of answer to come in that is going to help to shift you forward in some way. But it's like you're still waiting for it. So I'm feeling like there it's, and look at all the waves and stuff. I'm feeling like it's been stressful for you. I feel like this, you've been through this, tumultuous time, challenging time, waiting for things to unfold for yourself. So this is feeling very specific to something. So whatever you are thinking about, whatever's coming to mind while you're listening to my words, that's probably your intuition. That's probably what we're talking about. It does pertain to some sort of a goal, some sort of an achievement that you've been working towards. Um, and that could that achievement could just mean like an answer to a question or an answer such as a legal situation or something like that. It's something very specific. But it is some sort of goal. It is some sort of uh, something that you've been working towards or hoping for, okay? And which what is great is you're almost there. I've also got luck is on your side. And this is, you know, like the wheel of fortune. It's Jupiter, which Jupiter is in Gemini right now as we speak, which is the planet of good luck and good fortune and expansion. So there is something taking place here for you, Taurus, that is you've been waiting for it. And it's like you, it's like it's it's about to burst. Right. So embrace that luck. Luck is on your side. Luck is in the air. Literally luck is in your energy. Embrace it, believe in it, expect it, start telling yourself, everything is always working out for me. I am the luckiest person alive. Start telling yourself this because luck is on your side. And when you start programming your subconscious mind to believe in good luck, then good luck happens for you. So that's your homework today. <laughs> and there's some sort of communication coming in that you've been waiting for. And I'm going to say, because this is the new moon in Gemini and it's coming out for everybody. This is literally at the time of recording this reading is literally in two weeks. So I'm going to say no matter when you're watching this reading, whenever it's found you take it for the, the within two weeks from whenever you are watching this reading. Okay. So if you're watching it now, when I record it, then it's going to be around the new moon in Gemini in two weeks. But if it's later on when this reading finds you take it for the two weeks that you're in but I feel like there's some sort of communication that you've been waiting for. This just fell off the deck that I was not gonna use. Huh. The Knight of Wands coming in with some communication, coming in hot for you. There's something coming in that's rushing. So I feel like, and it's very like, 
passionate and it's very it's it's going to spark your creativity it's going to spark your sense of purpose and passion there's something coming towards you that i'm telling you it's like you're ready to bust you're ready to burst you're ready to you know it's you've been waiting for the dawn of a new day here it comes i feel like i need to use that deck instead of what i was planning to use for you so i'm going to put our our night back in and we're going to see what this deck has to say for you because it wants to talk i feel like taurus you are the only one in this zodiac series that is getting this deck there's something special here for you because you deserve it you have been through a lot and you have been waiting for this good luck for a while so let's see what they want to say to you okay okay taurus let's see Oop, we've got it here The end of a very long race ending in victory if that is not perfect Taurus I don't know what is this is good news this is the good news that you've been waiting for this is the victory at the end of the race you've been running this is you celebrating that victory whatever that is this could be a legal victory which I don't even know why I'm saying that but for some of you that's exactly what you need to hear this could be a, uh, a new home. This card represents a new home. This card represents good news. Your luck is changing, Taurus. Your good news is here. It is literally getting ready to come in. And you've been feeling like it's never going to come. You've been feeling like your day is never going to come. You're about to be celebrating something very significant here luck is on your side so you take it how it resonates for you and get ready to celebrate with the people that you hold dearest and true to you okay yeah you have been through one tower moment after another i feel like betrayal challenges you were doubting that this was ever going to happen I'm getting two messages off of this, Taurus. I feel like for, for most of you, it's telling you, man, is my tower after tower after tower after tower after tower moment gonna ever end? Yes. Suddenly, luck is on your side and you get the good news that you've been waiting for or the, the push forward. You're, you find the victory. You, you get the victory in this situation you get the victory it's coming suddenly so the other message here is it's coming suddenly you've been doubting that it's ever going to come you you doubt yourself you doubt life you doubt the universe you doubt it all because you've been through one thing after another and it's been very difficult it's been very challenging it has brought you to your knees and it's about to suddenly change believe in good luck believe in good luck okay Please believe in good luck because good luck is on your side. This world card says you finally made it. You finally made it to the end of this cycle. And now you're graduating into a new cycle. And now you're going to be rewarded for all of the shit that you went through in the last cycle. And it is going to be so much better than you thought so much better than you could have imagined you've been through so much and this has been such a long difficult cycle that seemed to go on and on forever one tower moment after another one thing after another i'm getting fear from this it's the devil card you had to release in the old ego cycle and it's been one thing after another that you've been through and you had to literally release the ego the past your entire past everything that has been holding you hostage everything that has been holding you back your ego mind changing your thinking changing your behaviors you had to go through a lot to really strip yourself of everything that was holding you back from the life that you want and now it's time for you to receive that life that you want. And however that looks like for you, this can be love, this can be prosperity, this can be just feeling happy, 
and peaceful and feeling like life is actually working to, for you instead of against you because I'm seeing energy here that life was working against you or at least that's what it felt like right and you've had one challenge moment after another right and now things are changing things are luck is on your side things are about to change you're about to have a sudden sudden shift that is going to change everything it's coming suddenly it's coming unexpectedly this is in the heart of your spread which which for me in my how i do things feels like this is the heart of the situation it's like it's about to happen it's some sort of communication it's some sort of message that is going to change everything for you so like i said i don't know if this is a legal situation going in your favor that is about to change your life maybe you're about to come into a whole bunch of money Maybe you're about to have, maybe your house is about to sell. Maybe you're about to get the job. Maybe you are about to meet your person. This can literally be anything and everything for you. So you take it how it fits for you. You take it what, what's coming to your mind right now while we're talking. What's coming to your mind? What have you been waiting for? What do you need to shift in your life? Whatever it is, it's good news, and it's victory for you. It's victory after a long, hard race. You're crossing the finish line, and you're getting victory. It's literally going to change your life. It's setting you free from the shackles of the past. It's setting you free from what has been holding you down. It's putting you in a, such a great position in a leadership role in your life that you've literally never been in before because I've got the emperor here and this is the highest version of you. This is gonna shift you into the highest version of yourself where you're confident, where you're sure of yourself, where you shine your light and you are your most authentic you. There's nothing holding you back anymore. You can literally go after your dreams. And maybe that's what you've been waiting for is a green light on some sort of dream. And now you can move forward in it you have authority you have your highest and your best you here really moving forward in your life in confidence in courage and going after your dreams in a completely different way than you ever thought possible for you because you were held back you were held it, it, it's like I feel this heaviness like the chain you know the devil card in the original tarot there's a chain it's like it controls you it's chained you you're like chained you can't move and you're breaking free from all that the sword is breaking you free and putting you in this place of authority and confidence and power you're making better decisions. Whatever this is that sets you free, Taurus, whatever this is that sets you free, it's allowing you to really make decisions based on what's on the inside. You've done enough contemplating in this cycle that you've been in with all these tower moments that you've been through. You've really had time to discover your light on the inside. It, it made you have time to really think about the things that you want, the things that you don't want anymore, how to make different decisions and follow what really feels good to you and, and now. And before, it's like you might have made choices that were not the best for you because of whatever reason, codependency or comfort zone or people pleasing or whatever the case is. But you're, you've literally let go of all of that. And you said, if all that, I'm leaving that in the past and I'm moving forward and I'm just going to focus on me. And I'm going to do what's right for me. Now you're making bit different decisions you're doing for you. And it puts you in this place of authority. And watch out, world, because here you come with all your fire. <laughs> you're taking on the Aries fire of that card and our Queen of Wands here. And you are moving forward in a way that you never have before. And it creates success for you. You're running a different race now. Taurus, whenever this happens for you, and it may have already happened for you, whatever this communication is, it causes you, yes, thank you, 
there's the king of wands you've got a divine partnership here so this could be a love situation like i said and look we've got the ten of cups and we've got the star i was just gonna say <laughs> whatever this communication comes that's coming whatever it is it puts you in a place of you're the star you're the star and you're going after what makes you happy you're not pleasing anyone else you're pleasing you you are not taking care of anyone else before your own needs you're not over giving and under receiving you're not chained to anything or anyone you are literally putting you first and you are receiving everything that you have ever wanted moving forward this is a change that has been called into being it's like and, and probably from the last eclipse maybe you've been purging through eclipse season you've been purging all that has held you back because there was a call for you to release the past and do something different because when we continue to make the same choices and expect a different result that's called insanity and so we need to do something different. And I feel like you have had to strip yourself down from all the things that were holding you back to learn how to make better decisions that are right for you. Being your most stripped down, most authentic you, you answered the call to change. And now you've just been waiting for it to come into fruition. And I mean, it's here. It's here. You in your eight of pentacles you've been building this foundation of just really learning about you and honing your skills you've been making you happy you've been filling your cup you've been thinking about what you should do in your life and nobody else you're going after peace and contentment you're going after your happiest life your happiest days and that's exactly what you're getting boy taurus this is quite the reading i really love it so is there anything else that Taurus needs to know may update for Taurus anything that Taurus needs to know your ten of cups here Taurus is your new cycle and it is a cycle of happiness and bliss and love and peace and balance and contentment you're gonna feel like your cups are filled you're gonna feel happy you may you may feel happy for the first time in your life Taurus but this is, I like to call this the happy ending, but this, you know, is really not an ending. This is the beginning of the best time of your life. The beginning of your next chapter is your happiest days. Your happiest days are ahead of you. And it's like, that's exactly what you're stepping into. And I feel like this is all coming in within the next two weeks, you know, with that Gemini new moon. Yeah, you're coming out of stuck. You've got some sort of an offer here. Something that is going to be a slow moving, this is slow moving, but this is good because it's building a, a solid foundation and it's like that builds into the 10 of pentacles. You know, this is for the next at least 10 years of your life, but you're coming out of this feeling of stuck. You're starting over, you're starting fresh, you're starting new. You have a new mindset, you have a new goal. You have a new like way of looking at things and you make different decisions than you ever did before. You're not going to be stuck anymore. You're literally starting your life over again. This is Taurus part two. You've got a wish fulfilled here. You're going towards your happiest days. So whatever this is for you, it's fulfilling a wish. It's answering a prayer and it's putting you in your power to create the life that you deserve. You have luck on your side. You're definitely putting all of the challenges and all that stuff in the past, Taurus. You're definitely moving out of this old cycle here that has kept you chained and kept you stuck, and you're coming into alignment with what, with everything that is for you. Everything. Love, money, all of it. Everything that is for you. Destined, fated, and aligned for you. What a beautiful energy this is. Get ready because everything is about to change in the next two weeks for you, Taurus. And this is your energy. Oops. This is your energy, by the way. And I'm glad we use these cards because they are my favorite. Get ready for a wish to be fulfilled. 
get ready for the answers that you need, the communication that you need for that victory. Victory is yours, Taurus, and it starts now. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, and comment below and let me know when these things start unfolding for you, because I am going to want to know, okay? I want to know who I'm reading for, but I always want to know when these good things come in that I'm seeing for you. So, I love you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button on the way out if you don't mind, and comment below.